suspects have driven like two little small, really tiny, tiny little capsules right in between my skin and my throat, and they've plugged from one into my throat area, and one they've driven up over here somewhere out there. And they're saying to me with the mic in the ear or the earplugs to the my eardrum from inside that um, they're going to cut my throat because they don't want me to speak about who they are, what they're doing, and what they've done to me, um, and stuff like that. I've really known everything that I possibly can, and but they still want to just torture me. Um, they stop for a period, but then they start to stop, to start, stop, to, um, and they're just doing that to me now. You can hear my throat, it's really bad. They've already cut out like a hole in the throat already. They already cut it before, and then, um, uh, putting it back together and um, back on the 14th of the 4th, 2016, um, and now they're doing it again. They drove two little capsules like that towards my liver, it's already been sliced. Um, they've now wanted to do something there as well. My heart's already been cut out. Um, brain's been chopped up to pieces, sliced and diced, and um, my um, spinal cord, my bones, you name it, whatever, they did it for a whole two years to me, every day, nearly every single day. Um, first they want money, and then they want um, me dead. They adamantly want me dead. I think that's the correct word. Just don't want me. No, you, you're gonna. We want you dead, no matter what. Even you get the equipment out, we want you dead. Um, and that's basically the torture that I have to live through, 24/7, of them threatening me to kill me, or they cut me up and um, say, "Pray to Jehovah and see if you die. Uh, see if He saves you." Um, or they cut me up to see if I die. They've tried to kill me so many times. They haven't. They've no one to like cut me up to make sure that I die. Somehow I survived. Or sometimes they try to kill me and then sew up the uh, throat back together. So um, it looks like I didn't die from that way. It looks like okay, well you died naturally and um, stuff like that. They were gonna modify my blood results so they wouldn't have to do a cut open autopsy. Uh, and find the equipment, the weapons that they use. Um, it's like a remote control car. Uh, uh, it's used through Wi Fi and then you got radio frequency that you know, comes from the Wi Fi probably or something. I don't know, you can have to verify that and check it all out how it's possible. Uh, I don't know, all I can tell you is how what I can feel, what I can hear, um, and this is basically what I've been going through 24 7 for since 2014 approximately. For a long period of time, I didn't even know until 2016 that I had something inside me. And then, probably the 14th or the 4th is when I was probably okay. That's when I knew um, that there was something inside me, something like that, um, of 2016. So, it was a long period of time where I basically did not know. I was just feel stuff or just oh, they, they can kill me silently they don't have to do audio but they uh, enjoy the um, I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna cut your throat uh, what are you thinking now oh, don't think like this oh, think, oh, what are you gonna do um, uh, like that kind of stuff um, like uh, it's a gang like a group so a bunch of girls a bunch of women in a group just like a Putting a knife to your throat and saying, no, okay, we're gonna kill you, we're gonna do this, what are you gonna do? Uh, you know, can't say anything, don't think this, don't think like that. And they say that and um, try to put the, I can't tape record, even though I've got all the recording devices around me, just try to record that. I can't record it because it's internally, it's only on my head, or I write it down, and I've been writing it as much as I can, but I just don't have the energy. They know that, they're gonna take advantage of that and try to kill me and then say whatever at the end, and stuff like that. I'm trying to give another option where we don't have to go to the police. I take out the equipment and um, 
either put it in civil court or let me live or just leave me alone but they don't want to they either want one or the other they want me dead that's the bottom line they keep trying 24 7 if they wanted me to live well, they didn't want me to live because they knew they were going to get busted or, or something like that i don't know well, i'm just telling you from what's been going on, going on. Um, like if they wanted me to live they would just turn everything off and just let, let it be like that but they don't they keep 24 7 trying to attack me they already stopped my heart so i'm guaranteed to pass away earlier than possible there's no way that you can uh, but they want to still cut up my liver cut up my throat uh, just make it more miserable than it is and already have a miserable uh, health now because of this um, i was very healthy before but they cut me all up so many times and uh, at one stage they wanted to solve their own crime or feed the and say this is how we die this is how we die and then come to my mum and then uh, conjure up her and get her to follow wrong for death suit or something like that or say and then uh, uh, frame it on McDonald's and these people then get to say that we worked then for McDonald's and all sparkle my lawyers and we did this and uh, they want to sue some money or something like that. Something like that, they were saying. Um, I've written this numerous times in my books. There's nothing new that I'm saying right now. I'm on the way to Westmead Hospital to find a specialist that I've been working with, a neurosurgeon, in regards to trying to get an MRI, best imaging to basically see trauma or the equipment. Um, still on that pursuit. I'm not getting it anyway because it's just ready if he's missing or results um, don't reflect what's basically the trauma or something like that. I'm not too sure. I'm sorry. And basically, that's basically it. That's the appointment that I have today. I hope to get through this, but I don't think too lightly because they only be honest with you. If I live, it's because they want me to live. That's it. If I die, then you know that they killed me um, with Wi-Fi medical equipment or whatever you, they call it. I've tried to describe it from what I've been through and it makes logical sense. But, uh, anyway, this is Chris Pace, I died about a third of the eight thirty-one. Today's date is the 20th of March. It's about 10.